1,400 a day. No, that's not the number of times AOC shoves her own foot into her mouth, though it's probably close. It's how many illegal aliens Border Patrol is releasing into the United States every single day. 1,400. Anybody notice how news from the border has basically dried up like the Sahara over the past few months? Border agents are still struggling under a massive wave of migrants, and border towns can't accommodate all of the illegal aliens being dumped in their streets. But the media is nowhere to be found. Probably because if they bothered to do their jobs, it would lend an awful lot of credibility to Trump's claim that we have got a crisis on our hands, and Democrats seem to have exactly zero interest in fixing it. But you know, turning a blind eye to something doesn't make it go away, and it sure as heck doesn't mean that we have forgotten about it. So here are a few facts that CNN doesn't want to touch with a 10-foot pole. Did you know that in the Rio Grande Valley sector alone, border agents say they are arresting more than 1,100 illegal aliens a day? In fact, in the first seven months of this fiscal year, they've already surpassed their apprehension totals for all of fiscal year 2018, and that's just one sector. The problem's gotten so bad, they don't have anywhere to put these people, so they're simply dumping them into local border communities with nothing but a good luck and a notice to appear in court. According to the latest report, CBP is releasing 1,400 illegal aliens into the United States every single day. If that holds, it comes to about 42,000 people every month. And there's nowhere for them to go. The mayor of Yuma, Arizona has already declared a state of emergency because the local shelters are filled beyond capacity and the town simply doesn't have the resources to house and feed all these people. The situation is so strained that Yuma officials now say they're concerned that all these migrants will end up coming to blows with local residents who are just looking to protect their own homes and property. Oh, and by the way, these aren't just innocent women and children streaming across the border in search of a better life. Fox News obtained border security footage this week showing a group of heavily armed human smugglers toting AK-47s escorting a woman and her son over the Mexican border and into Arizona. Now, you would think that a group of politicians so concerned over gun violence would be a little worried that groups of guys carrying high-powered rifles are just meandering over the Rio Grande, but hey, maybe if we let the nice human traffickers join the NRA, it would get some attention. And lest anyone fool you, it's not our guys who are abusing poor migrant children. In the middle of the night on Tuesday, border agents found a three-year-old migrant boy crying alone in a Texas cornfield after being abandoned by his smugglers. He had nothing with him but the clothes on his back and his name and some phone numbers written on his shoes. Now, I don't know the last time Nancy Pelosi spent the night in a Texas cornfield all by her lonesome, but it's not exactly the safest place for a toddler. Yet that's where he was dumped all by people that we're supposed to think are just serving humanity and helping poor refugees. Right, this is the situation at the border. This is what the media refuses to show you. It is a crisis. Our border towns are overwhelmed, our facilities are busting at the seams, our immigration system is in a free fall, and more people who are not as lucky as that little boy will quite literally die if we don't get it under control. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter. Stay sane out there.